So you want to make some cursors? Hey guys, welcome back to Spy Guy. I'm Guy, and today we are back in Libra Sprite once again, taking a look at how to make some pixel art cursors for uh, your game, for your whatever you're making that involves pixel art and cursors. So I'm using the tablet today. You don't have to. It's pixel art, of course. Um, but we're gonna go ahead and zoom in. I'm in a, a canvas size of 128 by 128 right now. We're gonna zoom on in here. Uh, we're gonna grab a nice spot here. Doesn't really matter where. Uh, and the first one I want to do is kind of like a little arrow. And uh, this one is very similar to the actual cursor that's in uh, Libra Sprite here. So that's pretty cool. We're just going to do a little, little bit of an L right there. Is that one, two, three, four, five? One, two, three, four, five. And then we're going to just double that up. And then we'll go out to maybe one, two, three, four, five as well. Sure. Why not? Uh, maybe we'll do six uh, for those. And then. Uh, yeah, so we'll do six on all sides instead of five. There we go. Looks good. All right, so now I want to continue uh, this by grabbing a white color here. And then we'll just do a little bit of a border. Uh, and this border, do I want it? Yeah, I think I do. So we'll do, uh, we'll do not the, so I don't want the corners here. I don't want these two corners. I don't want that. I think, yeah, we'll do it like that. So I don't want that one either. Um, that, that looks good, and then we'll go all the way around, uh, and we're doing, we're gonna do a couple of styles of cursors today, so don't worry, uh, but yeah, it looks pretty good, I like that, uh, and finally, we'll drop this, uh, color down here to, like, a grayish color, and then we'll just paint in a little bit of a shading, shadowy type thingamabob going on there, let me put a, uh, let's do this, let's, uh, add in a new layer, so we'll right-click layer, add a new layer, and we'll put it underneath that one and we'll just make this a background layer so I can see what's going on a bit easier we'll make it like a blue yeah like that which looks pretty good uh, so that's the first cursor right there it's that one's pretty simple it's pretty easy nice little nice little tiny cursor and I want to go ahead and go back to our first layer here with the cursor layer that's what I'm gonna call it the cursor layer uh, and then we'll go over here and move on over maybe do we want to do a more regular type of cursor we'll do something like this so we'll go oh no we're going to go back to brush mode, sorry. Uh, we'll go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 down, and then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, like that. And then maybe, uh, maybe we'll go straight down. That's kind of a weird cursor, isn't it? Maybe a little bit. Maybe, I have an idea. Instead of doing like that, we'll just go, we'll continue that straight down, and then we'll just go up, kind of like that, and fill it in. Yeah. I like that. Yeah, sure. Or maybe. No. There we go. I like that. Looks pretty good. We'll go ahead and for this one, maybe I, maybe I want to do a colored one. We'll do uh, red, maybe. We'll do red, and then we'll split that red in half. We'll drop that color down, desaturate just a little bit. Uh, maybe pull over here to the pinker tone, and then we'll do a little bit of shading on this guy. So we'll go one, two, three, four, five, and then we'll color all that in. Yeah. Yeah, sure. Uh, maybe the opposite way. Maybe, maybe not as much. Like that? Yeah. That was pretty good. Uh, and then we'll go ahead and grab a white color. And then I want to give this one a border too. Because I like doing the borders for the cursors because they can be difficult to see sometimes. And maybe I want to actually, for that one. Yeah. I like that. And maybe actually we'll, instead of doing the shading right there, we'll just do the shading. Let me grab that color back. Um, and we'll do a little bit anti-aliasing on this one instead of shading because it looks kind of strange. So we'll go ahead and do something like that and then put maybe or maybe like this and then we'll drag it up a little bit. Grab a redder kind of pink. Maybe. Maybe. I like it. That's good. That's good. We could go for a flat shading but still. I'll leave it with the color for now. And Maybe, I don't know, maybe we want to do some of that again just because it makes it look kind of cool I don't know whatever you want to do uh, we'll do another cursor actually let's let's shade this one really quickly let's grab this black color we'll just drag it up just a little bit to a uh, very very dark gray something only Batman would use um, and then we're gonna go ahead and just shade this just anti alias maybe a little bit and then we'll go one two uh, three maybe something like that maybe just a little bit uh, maybe maybe a cube in the middle something like that sure why not maybe not that cube yeah 
the rest of it's fine. Yeah, that looks good. I like that. Sweet. Now, we're going to move on to another one. I want to do just a few more, maybe a couple. I want to do a hand because I keep seeing this hand pop up anytime I try and uh, move my move and pan around my scene. I like that. So we're going to try and see if we can recreate something that's kind of close to that. So this one will have to be a little bit bigger, though. Um, so we'll go maybe uh, up a little bit like that. Do maybe one finger. And then, what is that, uh, two pixels there? No, that's right, because we need to get rid of that piece. Uh, I'm not going to try and completely, you know, recreate this this hand here because that's going to be gonna be crazy ridiculous uh, let's do a let's do a, a solid block one maybe something like that and then down maybe I want to be thinner and then a thumb maybe something like that and then across and just get rid of that move it up maybe do I want yeah let's do that instead let's go ahead and do the first finger right and then down all the way and then over, and then over, and in, but pull this piece out there. Yeah. All right, so that we got a, a little a nice little hand here. Maybe, we, do we want to do a little bit of a point like that? Yeah, do we want to do that instead? That looks pretty good. Maybe you could curve these, of course. You could get rid of all of these edges here. But I just really like the way the, the hard blocks, uh, the block edges look. So we could also go down like that one to give a little bit of a wrist, or we could just cut it like that. But I like the wrist, so maybe we'll do even more of a wrist like that. Yeah, I think it looks pretty good. And I might drop this down one layer as well, again, right there, or right there. Yeah, okay, that looks much better. All right, that looks good. I like that a lot. So let's go ahead and grab a white color here, and we'll just bucket fill that. Hit G to bucket fill. We'll just bucket fill that right there. And then I'll grab that gray color, and actually that's too dark. So we'll go in half, something like that. Do a little bit of a knuckle, maybe knuckle there, knuckle there, shading, and maybe a little bit of shading right there, and there. Yeah, sure. I like it. I love it. Looks great. And for the black here, I do. I don't want just a solid black uh, outline. So we'll go with the we'll go with the uh, colored one for this one. So it's kind of that dark purple that I love so much. And then we'll just brighten that, desaturate a little bit, and then on the corners, we will go ahead and shade every intersection. That we, well, not every intersection, but um, the main ones anyway. So we'll skip that one, um, or maybe we won't skip that one, and we'll flip these like that. Yeah, there we go. All right, so that looks pretty good. I love that. And maybe do I want to do something kind of sneaky here? We'll we'll grab that darker purple color, drop it down, saturate it a little bit, and then we'll do a shadow for that. Eh, can I get away with that? Maybe a little bit darker than that. Almost like it might as well be black. Maybe. Maybe. Uh, I don't like it. Get rid of it. Okay, yeah, that's better. Maybe. I don't know. I guess it's up to you. I guess it's up to you. Maybe we'll do the same color gray. I don't know. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah. I think I, I think I do like the darker shade. Yeah. So that was good. All right. So those are those are some cursors right there. Let's do a really super simple one real quick. We'll just do uh, just like a Minecraft style uh, like that. You know, super easy. We'll also do a square one. Uh, so we'll do something like that. And then all the way up. And then in the middle. And then, of course, you can get rid of those circle pieces there. Maybe you're doing a uh, first-person shooter game. I don't know. Um, we can also do one of these. One, two, three. Uh, no, I'm sorry. One, two. Uh, dot right there. One, two. One, two. One, two. Looking good. We can also do... This is super quick and easy ones right here. What, can, what, else, can, what else can we do? What else do you usually see? Um, oh, we could do something like this. We have... Nope, 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 nope. Where we have a onesie. And then we'll have something bigger out on the outside. Thusly. Maybe that one's rounded. Maybe they're both rounded. I don't know. You could do whatever you want. <laughs> Maybe we'll put some here. And then we will anti-alias this by going and grabbing that gray color. Uh, putting two right there, two right there, two right there, two right there. And then we can also do that right here, really, if you want to. So there we go. I like that one a lot. It looks pretty cool. And then we'll, we'll grab that colored uh, purple that I love so much. We'll go around the outside just like that, thusly. Yeah, we don't have to do this this outline step right here, but I think it makes it pop a lot more. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you guys in the next one. But uh, until then, bye bye.